I'm going to cut out the whole pre-show and just put it in the middle of our episode. As a <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. All right. Let's get boring. <laughs> let's get boring. Now let's get boring. <laughs> you, can, you can totally see my ring light in my glasses. Oh, I can. Oh, yeah. Just, just kidding. Only when I'm you look up, Fucking though. cheap as shit. It's a light bulb. <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Cog Pod. This is episode 70, and I'm back. What's up, bitches? <laughs> What's oh, <we> up? Should. <laughs> Wait, when did okay, we so get on episode 70? Well, we did 69 with Bader. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. That's how we're on 70. <laughs> yeah. So I just, okay, our cat, right before we were about to start, jumped up into the window like a madman. But look at the reflection above him of our, <laughs> our fan? ceiling fan. It looks <laughs> Do you a ever little use bit. That fan? <laughs> I thought it was a just bit. a drone peeking in your window. <laughs> well, yeah. it does look a little bit like an alien ship is. I was going to say a swastika because of the oh, angle. Oh no! Wow! Oh, no, it. it does a little. Oh no! Because <laughs> like the I'm going to really the, trip you guys out. I mean, it. Yeah. Fennec look, does look at it a... as if it's just another room. Whoa! <laughs> Fennec does have like a little Kitler mustache. So wow, <laughs> she actually gave him the middle name Adolfo. Yeah, his middle name is Adolfo. <laughs> is that Adolfo Kitler? Yeah, no, it's Finnick Adolfo. We just lost all of our Jew viewers. <laughs> Especially because you said that. Say the whole word when you say it. Say Jewish. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they go by Jews. Everybody, please. Please still love Grim. Don't be mad at him. No. He's just a baby. Nobody. No. <laughs> He's just a baby. <laughs> Babies He's don't just, know any better. He doesn't know any better. Oh don't make me God. laugh. It hurts so much. Oh. That's like the worst thing. Wait, that can it hurts to laugh? It does. So I have four incisions in my abdomen. They're healing. So it hurts the most to laugh, cough, sneeze, or like ride in a car. When you go over a speed bump, I'm like holding my abdomen in place because it hurts so much to like da, 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 jostle da, da. around. Da, 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 da. Go ahead. You're and doing a good job of not Jesus. making her laugh. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's when he tries and it fails. Mm. Um, so anyway, I was telling Nick before you got here, Grim, that like this time when I did the surgery, they did the same thing again where they didn't put me under at all beforehand. So I get to the OR and I put myself on the operating table again, like that whole thing. But then when I woke up, like, I was really out of it. Yeah. Like, apparently, everybody was super concerned because they couldn't get my pain oh. under control. And I'm, like, asking for morphine, like, constantly. <laughs> <laughs> that does, like, does that thing give it to you? Like, if you press no, that thing, does it give no. it to you? Um, um, and then apparently I just passed out. It, they they do, but there are times so you can't OD yourself. Yeah, you can't. You, it's mm-hmm. like, you can push it, it as much it as you want. Off. It lights they didn't up even have that. Actually do they didn't it. even have that set up. No, her. I had to ask for it. Ask oh. for it. I didn't have a button to push. Yeah. Um, Could you bring your own? <laughs> no, they wouldn't I let me bring, bring any of my medications. Morphine. But then what sucked is when I checked out, like, they didn't make sure I had pain meds going home. Ugh. So I didn't get pain meds for 24 hours after I got home. Oh, jeez. Well, you, but luckily, you're the one in pain. You should have asked. I, we did. Trust me. We fought. Well, the problem was they sent over a prescription, but then... The, the pharmacy, pharmacy said they wouldn't be able to fill it until like the Tuesday after because she had got the same prescription less than 30 days before from her pain doctor. And so they were like, you need to send something else over. And then they tried to send over a different dosage. And they said that insurance wouldn't cover that because it was an ER dosage. Oh, my God. And then they had to send something else over. And so eventually we got it the next day. And how then- does How does anyone in that country live? I don't know. So luckily I had a stockpile of pain meds for my pain doctor, but then I used them all up in that 24 hours trying to hold on until we got the real ones. Yeah. Cause that was like 29 days into it already. Sucked. So you should have tried weed. (laughs) (laughs) I was told that by more than one person. Yeah. Uh, And I couldn't eat much either. Like my stomach, I didn't feel sick or nauseous from the anesthesia. I just couldn't really eat much. Well, they did give you a nausea patch. 
Yeah. Did, did I mention there's a store I can just go buy weed at now if I wanted to? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They have Love. like 40 varieties of it and they've got stuff with it to eat it and they've got stuff to vape mm-hmm. it. And it's crazy. It's like a, like well, a real business. Thing, Who would have thought? Can, can you tell me about eating it again, Nick? Denver and shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Do <laughs> wait, wait. Did you just did you just use my word? Did you wow him? Did you just wow me? Nick, wow. Did you say wow or so. well? Well, I said well. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry to disappoint Canadian. you. Oh, yeah. There's the sorry. <laughs> I was actually uh, upset. Have I told it before, or should I tell it again? You no, haven't you told us though. No. All. all right. <laughs> I've never eaten weed before. I was at a party all night. Um, I got real hungry and there was no food, but there was peanut butter cookies. Okay. Um, I ate 11 of them and they turned out to be 11? weed peanut butter cookies. You ate 11? <laughs> Nicholas. I got real sick. Yeah, real you sick. did? 11? <laughs> Shit yeah. balls. Apparently uh, they were strong too, I was told. I bet uh, a normal dose would have been one or two cookies tops for like a pro if they were I don't like even like cookies. I was just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, even stand, uh, I can't I don't even, even like stand you. I can't even stand you. I don't even like cookies. <laughs> I threw up so hard it went up a tree uh. somehow. Uh. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was. It wasn't my finest moment. Oh, uh, can we get that animal, oh, please? please <laughs> no, somebody. We need somebody to Peanut animate. butter cookie vomit going up. No, a tree. the whole story. Oh. Just Nick at a party yeah. overnight. Eating drunk. cookies doesn't want him. He's yeah. <laughs> like, ugh, I hate cookies. <laughs> <laughs> like a cookie monster, just shovel him in anyway. The, the funny thing is, is that same night is uh, how I met my ex, and she still wanted to see me after that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> how many did she eat? Jesus. <laughs> no, no. No, what it is is I sort of ran off into the woods and got sick instead of like, <laughs> so you, became, you became Sasquatch. Uh, yeah, yeah, I became. <laughs> All I mean, those sightings are just Nick running in the woods vomiting. Well, they, they hear the call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, that was insanely accurate. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's eaten eleven peanut butter cookies. No, I I have, I've, I, I've never roaring puked before that. <laughs> like it was like. Like I couldn't help but scream at the same time I was doing oh, it. So God, it was like, so it was like, ah, ah, ah. You feel like <laughs> Satan's trying to escape. Uh, and all I could do there. after that is I opened the back door of my car and I laid across the seat with the door open. <laughs> Oh it was bad. God. It was bad. Jesus. Anyway, there you go. Team- Enjoy that, folks. <laughs> have, you, have you seen Team America? Yep. <laughs> it's a lot like that, I assume. The, the alley scene when he throws up. I could even see Nick being like a uh, puppet with his hands, like ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Already, my yeah, cheeks hurt. Is, so there you <laughs> go. Oh, making me tired. That's great. Anyway, yeah, so don't do that, kids. <laughs> eat in uh, legal places so have and you- eat normal amounts. So have you purchased any peanut butter cookies from the store that you can Ugh. buy it from? He probably now? never wants I, peanut butter again. I've never ate peanut butter cookies since. No, <laughs> never again. Um, uh, yeah. And I also bring anything? sandwiches to parties just That's like case. the time that... <laughs> <laughs> bring your own sandwich. <laughs> That's like the time I, um, I ate pizza and got super sick, like mm-hmm. vomiting my guts out sick. And so I didn't eat pizza for like... Seven years after that, are they coming for you? Next? <laughs> what was that noise? It's that spaceship <laughs> outside our window. Uh, that's that. yeah, that's right one there. of those town idiots that uh, that they have to block from going down to the lighthouse where they're filming the movie. That's why they blocked it off so far. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so Nick's yeah. so they're filming. What's the name of this movie that they're filming there? The Lighthouse by Roger. Okay, so Roger you, Eggers, <laughs> Robert Eggers. When you guys posted the picture, like the uh, poster for the movie, it looks like. Robert Pattinson is about to give a blowjob to a lighthouse. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm like, whoever did this artwork? I'm pretty sure that's not a legit poster for the mm. movie. Mm. Okay, um, I hope it's not. Yeah, so but it's Nick interesting. Went- they built a lighthouse next to our lighthouse. Yeah, I saw the picture that you, that you like. You sent a picture <laughs> of so that, weird. didn't you? I so are they that. shooting like inside the real one for the inside shots and stuff, or uh, do they even? Need nope. That? Um, they built, they took over our airport for the soundstage. Oh. So they do that part there. And then um, 
they have a house that they built there that they do the interior of the house. But for the lighthouse, it's on the soundstage. Weird. So Nick one day went searching for Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. And tell us the story of what you found. Uh, we saw Robert Pattinson. I said, that's him, Like we, as we were driving by. Right. But everyone had been saying he's got a mustache um, and not a beard. Right. And so we went back again a couple times back and forth. To double check. And, yeah. And I was like, it is him. But my friend was like, no, that's not him. Turns out it was him. Whoa. Mind so. blown. We were just <laughs> super weird creepy. with the beard? Because he's like, you know. It, it's a shortish beard. Like, okay. it's like not a big beard. Oh, it's a little hip beard. Yeah. It, Willem Dafoe's got a giant beard. Like, a, really? I would be proud of that beard. Yeah. Willem Dafoe. Yeah. He's kind of like gnarly looking anyway. So I bet the beard suits him. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I call him rugged. He's rugged. rugged. I said gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> like an old bit of wood. He does look like an old <laughs> bit of wood. And so then you also saw him at like a pool hall. What happened? No. Uh, did we want to save that for like a clip? No, show you can tell like it. We, can tell we it. had it. Okay. You know what? I'll just cut it in right here. Do, 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 do. Okay. I've changed my opinion pretty much on Robert Pattinson, though. Oh, God. Since he's Did been you find here, him? Saw... Wait, are we recording this? Yeah. Did you find him? Are we recording this? Yeah. Okay. You, uh, I'm not recording. Should I start recording it? Sure. Should I start now? It's always a good idea. Test, to test, 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 test. We okay. have the OBS going, so it's fine. Yeah. So we'll have shitty quality so... one way or the other. <laughs> <laughs> so I had seen him once. I told you guys about that. That he right. had a beard, right? And the, they didn't Yeah, and him. everyone was like, he ain't got a beard. He's got a mustache. Well, he's got a beard. Yeah. Anyway. Suck it. Other people. Yeah. So he showed up at Dooley's last night, okay. which is a pool hall slash bar. That sounds is like that a the pool same hall. pool hall that you pool. saw fucking Bruce Willis at? Uh same company, different town. Mm-hmm. So they have a chain. Anyway. Oh yeah, Dooley's is a big chain. Okay. I thought where we need um, to start hanging you out. You said the apparently. name of that, it sounded like a pool hall. Like I don't know why. I just I don't know <laughs> you, if you I would think that, that Dooley's else. must be super popular because all these stars keep going there, but they just keep going to towns that don't have anything else. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's the, the only problem. thing I've ever heard called a Dooley is a truck, but that's a yeah, Texas that's thing. That's not spelled that way. I know. Oh, uh, yeah. So anyway, I I don't typically go out much anymore, um, but I You're got old. a message. Yeah, I'm old, especially old now, but. Anyway, uh, I got a message, Robert Pattinson's here, and I was like, well, I don't really care. <laughs> uh, uh, but I had to give a sober drive, so I went there, and he did something that I really, really liked. Oh, what do you do? Kiss well, you in this tent, oh, no, I don't think I'd like that, but I can't say for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Jesus. No, you got me um, curious. Yeah, yeah. Right, curious. Now I got to go Shut meet him again. Up. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Let him finish his story. Oh, I'm sorry. So in this town, like the highest paying jobs are the least educated um, fishermen. And I'm going to say 70% of them are complete jackasses. But where they make so much money, they go around like they're all high and mighty. Anyway, one of them was talking to... Uh, Robert Pattinson outside while he was trying to have a smoke and he was talking to him about fish and fishing and all that stuff. Like he was going to be impressed and Robert Pattinson finished just smoking. He's like, yeah, I don't really care about this subject. And he left. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy was like, well, I never, <laughs> well, I never. Um, but that's like an honest answer. He's like, I'm Robert Pattinson. I don't give a fuck about fishing. Oh, yeah. My God. But yeah. then other people are going to say, oh, he's just a high and mighty Hollywood tool. I don't give a shit about fishing. I would have said the same thing. Is he British? I've no. said the same thing about 46 times. He's people from people don't care. <laughs> like Pennsylvania or Virginia or something. How do you know that? Ah, a vampire from Pennsylvania makes sense. But, That's where but that Cedric Diggory was British. Who the fuck is that? That's the real role that Harry he played. Potter guy. Yeah. <laughs> he, he died a hero. Yeah. Robert in the water. 
Captain. Wait, Dyson. no, not in the water. No, he died no, in the he was, graveyard. He was there for the water should, part, and then he died in the we graveyard. Should just open those? Because Probably. this is going to happen the whole fucking there? time, and it's so You should loud. open it. I haven't even ever seen what's out there. You, you can't see anything. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's cactuses and stuff. I literally <laughs> made that up, and it sounded like I was right. But no, he's from uh, Britain. <laughs> Britain? So he is actually British. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Okay. Um, I haven't laid eyes on him. I'd, I'd like to meet Willem Dafoe. Willem. But they caught him at uh, Sobey's, like, trying to decide between two pancake mixes, and they got a picture of it, and it's so funny to see stars doing human being things. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, literally from London. Yeah. Like, couldn't be more British. Okay. And I'm like, no, he's from Pennsylvania. <laughs> I just, I say the first thing that pops in my head is if it's fact, and people often believe yeah. me. I'm like, is he British? You're like, no. <laughs> Let's well, guess where Why would you choose Pennsylvania? Uh, I don't. I have no. no idea. There's not a good guess. I bet Willem Dafoe. Willem is, Dafoe is from. He's going to be from Oregon. Do you have a guess, Nick? He's probably. Well, I don't know a whole lot about the U.S. Um, New York. <laughs> <laughs> he's from Wisconsin. Oh wow! Uh, that's Appleton, where cheese comes Wisconsin. from, isn't it? Yep. That is where all the cheese comes from in the world. Yes. Don't yeah. you know? See, I know one yeah. fact yeah. about every state. Go you should that. quiz me. Ooh, okay. I know one fact about every state. Can you please stop? Tennessee. We are trying to do stuff. Um, wheat and the wheat sticking out of someone's Excuse mouth. <laughs> what? I can't. So you hillbillies is what you're associating with Tennessee? Basically, yeah. I don't banjos. Know if that's true. Maybe. Oh, it's definitely true. It's gotta be. Banjos. Yeah, definitely. Because the. Okay, well, like I'll go with banjos then. Nashville yeah. is there, you know, like yeah. Grand Ole Opry and country uh, music. Graceland. No, there you go. I think that's Memphis, Tennessee. Grand Old Opry. Right there, you see? He's, I he's knew on. a bunch about Tennessee, I guess. What about, I mean, that one song. Right, what's that, another what's state? His name yeah, sings? Stephen Lynch has the best Tennessee song. What, are, what's it, what game are we playing with Nick right now that he doesn't He know? says he knows one fact about every U.S. state. Okay. What do you know about... We should go alphabetical so we get No, no, no. What do you know about Maryland? Maryland. Was there not a mass murder there? Like a I big mean, one I'm that sure. was on the news. Possibly. Probably. Maryland shooter. Maybe. I don't think it's a fact about the state, though. I don't know about that. Um, no. I mean... If, have you seen be. Old School? Not Old yes. School. Yes. Wedding Crashers. Maybe. The thing I know about Maryland is from Wedding Crashers, and it's crab cakes and football. That's all we do, is what oh. one guy yells at him when he's a dude. No, that, I, I know one thing about that state is that people don't talk about it enough that I assume it's just a dirt hole. Yeah. It's now, just the, a bunch of rich people hanging around. There are a couple states up in the northeast New England area that I'm not sure about, like Vermont. Mm. All just plain oh, rich white people. skiing mountains. Yeah. New Hampshire. Same. It's the 69 of those two. Mm. Those two states 69 each other. Connecticut. Like, oh, okay. those are all, like, well, super rich. Yeah. Northern Railroad Hamptons from Monopoly. Kind of, yeah. Those kind of people. Yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know... The, you, mm. If you know, I drew the United States, it'd be, like, maybe six states on it. Here's be like, the better one for you, Nick. <laughs> okay. What is your one fact, and it better not have anything to do with scorpions, it's gonna be scorpions. about Texas? It's going to be scorpions. Other than scorpions? Other than scorpions. Uh, Everybody loves tacos. Pick something else. <laughs> not Mexican food, not scorpions. Yes. Um, <laughs> what else is there? Jesus, breweries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot I mean, of breweries. Okay. I thought you, you guys gonna, go to breweries. I thought you were going to go with uh, the Branch Davidians, like Waco, the Waco incident that happened. Uh, oh, I could have said Texas Chainsaw Massacre too. Yeah. Well, that didn't happen in Texas. <laughs> I know you tell me that, but I don't care. <laughs> it happened in Ohio, <laughs> even so though pointed. it's set. It's set in Hewitt because it was the mm. Hewitt family, yeah. and Hewitt's up by Waco. Yeah. Also by Waco. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong with Waco. Apparently there's a lot of Wiccans there too. That's just where... Don't <laughs> Is that real? Because then we can't use any of this. Just no. stop. It's Wait, right why? Wait, you guys know Wiccans, I think. <laughs> no. Do you know what looks like a brown star is when I do this with my fingertips? I figured it out. Look, that's, a, that's a cat's booty hole right there when you do that with okay. your fingertips. I, I Kids at home, try no, this. No. Just put your fingers together. Um, what else <laughs> That's going to become the new swear. Instead of going like this, people are going to be going, mm. cat, mm. cat butt you. 
It's like the two away. fingers to them, but it's the. the <laughs> That's how they do it in <laughs> yeah. in England. They're like. Mm. Oh, spe- uh, remind me of um, when you yes. said when you said Monopoly Railroad. Did mm-hmm. you know it's Reading Railroad, not Reading? I did. I did not know that because it's Reading is the Pennsylvania. It's Reading, Pennsylvania. Oh God, damn it. sure it's not the but UK. It's spelled like again. Reading. You sure it's not Reading in the UK? No. It's Reading. definitely Wait. spelled reading. It's, it's spelled reading, yes, but... Um... A city in Pennsylvania. Okay. What, you Mommy Googled is... Reading, Pennsylvania. You have to Google Reading Railroad Monopoly and what it's named after. You see, she's cheating. <laughs> Fake news. Railroad. Okay, Monopoly Railroads. It might be. We I mean, the have... other ones are... Short line B and O, and Pennsylvania. Uh, the you are, you are, are right, Pennsylvania B and O, Reading, and Short Line. Yep. Wikipedia <laughs> agrees with you. Pennsylvania That's Railroad. Good. Does it say why they're named? What they're I'm on? getting to it. Can you calm down? Philadelphia and Reading Railroad. Reading Reading Railroad later the Reading Company pronounced Reading originally chartered. From between Reading and, and Philly, okay. Pennsylvania. So it is Pennsylvania. Good call. I knew something. Yeah. But I found out. I, I don't know. I think I discovered it when I heard. It might have been Yogg's talking about Reading. In the I UK. said Reading as like a four year old. I didn't. Well, I maybe always whoever, said it that whoever way. taught you the game must have they must said have, it that way. They must have done. Must have did. Um, well, that's handy to know. Yeah, yeah, fun facts. Facts. Fun facts. Let's see, which one of my drinks do I want to drink right now? Coffee again. So do you always just get a new Timmy Hortons, or do you use the same one? It's the same same one, one, including the same liquid in it from a year ago. (laughs) I just take a few sips every month or so. It's like having a mother dough. It is. It's It's like like a mother dough. It's like a sourdough. (laughs) No, I uh, I had I got this one last night actually. Oh my god! Yeah, is it just black coffee? Yes. Oh my god, you're so weird. Well, that's a little bit racist. There you go. That was a cool story. <laughs> cool story. <man. laughs> and that's what happened. I'm totally gonna forget uh, to do that. No, you're not. Remember, <laughs> remember timestamp. Remember where we're at. It's like forty. Yeah, but that's not. Well, you're gonna have to kind of maybe do something to the beginning of this too. Anyway, why? What happened? I might not have had it for over. When did you start recording, Grim? <laughs> Jesus after, Christ. After Nick said you could have had weed. Oh, oh. Dang, that was just now. <laughs> That's all right. No, what? Wait, no, it wasn't. We'll use the uh, OBS for that. Oh, we're making all kinds of shit footage oh right gosh. now. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Yeah, so we'll just come back in here. <laughs> what a great Bam. story, Nick. <laughs> Such smooth transitions when we fucked Jesus it up. Christ. Um, guess what happened? That's today? funny. You're you lucky guys, I'm an audio engineer you, genius. Honestly, <laughs> really, we are a little lucky. <laughs> Making um, you work for your no money today. <laughs> That's right. Your no money. So, what's the big news that happened today that you guys probably haven't heard yet? Um, wow, if my cat knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it bad news? It's bad news. Yeah, oh, I, I heard Huey is. Lewis isn't traveling because of health anymore. That was bad news. I don't like you. Those jokes are not funny. Nobody laughed at that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But it's actually true. Is it so, that someone died? R. Lee Ermey died today. I don't know who that is. He uh, was, you've seen him. Yeah, yeah you've, you've seen him and everything. So he was... He's the drill sergeant. Gunny from Full Metal Jacket. And then he was in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake. He was in... Got a million freaking movies. Dude no, with the does, really bushy exist. eyebrows. Yeah. Like really bushy. He knows who he is. Oh. He's a scary, skinny old man. Luke? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yours are not anywhere near what bushy enough. No, they're nowhere near bushy enough. Cat fight. Like literally right next to me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> just kick him. Oh my God. <laughs> if you hear blinds rattling, that's just the cat. Uh, I'm sorry. God, what a shit show today. Just blame it on my anesthesia hangover. Um, because <laughs> I still my brain is not working right. Still, it's like three weeks ago. I know, but it's still not right. 
Uh, um, I need some whiskey or something. So Nick and Luke and I, all three of us, and I guess Grim probably hasn't seen this. We all went to go see a quiet place, not together, like you know, separately. Uh, um, that so would be we fun. Were, we were going to talk Wait, about it. You and Luke went separately too. No, we went together, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but okay. Nick wasn't with us. Um, Darn. It got like super high reviews, and everybody's giving it like super high ratings, and I can see why. Uh, but there's so many things I want to say about it, but I can't because what I want to say will spoil it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Well, I don't know if oh, we can yeah. talk about it without spoiling it. No, did you not like it because it's not a shitty movie? <laughs> no, no, I really liked it, but there's a lot of things done wrong. Mm. I, I like that Jim's to getting other roles. <laughs> Jim, well, yeah, he directed it. He did good, it. and he was the director. Yeah, yeah, he did yeah. good. Well, um, okay. <sighs> Nick, how about you go first? Yeah, there you go. So okay. I, don't ruin um, <clears throat> I, I really liked it. I didn't find it particularly scary. Right. I it was thought more it like was suspense, interesting. Right? Yeah. yeah. I, I just found it interesting. It was um, an interesting concept. Yeah. It, uh, I wonder if you get to pay actors less if they don't talk. <laughs> you guys um, pay me the same. I think they all what? did talk, actually, in the movie. <laughs> well, except the, There's like one line. The girl. That was actually deaf. Yeah. She, near, near the end, they talked a little more. Mm-hmm. Um, not to be mean or anything, but she doesn't look like a famous person. Who? Who? <laughs> oh, was, uh, oh, well, that's her first role. I don't think she's acted before. I think he's saying that she looks home. Uh, oh, she's a yeah. little girl. Of course she's homely. Okay. She's like 12. Who I said, yeah, but there's a I lot of she... cute kids. Well, okay. So, no, he... He wanted a real... Deaf girl to play the part. Yeah. So, are you telling me that on this entire <laughs> planet with millions and millions of people on it, there's no cute deaf girls? Jesus that's, Christ! That's Do you mean. know that when we left the that's theater, not... that's literally no, no, no. They all when died. we left, when we left the theater, that's literally what Luke said to me. I didn't say that. I said you did too. No, I you said did you know too. who she looks like? Oh God, this isn't a compliment. I oh. said that she looks like the sister of the kid from Stranger Things. The no. ugly one with Here's the afro. That's who the you're talking about. The little chubby cheek kid. Oh, and I God. said, no, what I said, I said, if she actually did talk, I think she would have a lisp. Oh, I swear to God. <laughs> I can't stand you guys. We can't. <laughs> it's That's what I said. I mean, this is honest. Like, we're we're mean to celebrities all the time. We are. She's not a hardcore celebrity. I no. thought she did. Well, she was memorable. She did a great job. But. Yeah, not She'd traditionally. Have a I didn't think that she wasn't cute. I thought she was cute. I liked her curly hair was cute, and she had, like, really good facial expressions to go with, like, what was going on and stuff. So she looked angry the whole damn time. When she wasn't She oblivious. was angry the whole time, but we can't, t- we <laughs> okay, can't my, say why. My issues are more with her character development than her as a... Mm. What was wrong with her character? It, they built all this up and then just resolved it in, like, a half a scene, and mm. it's all okay. And then... God, it's so hard to not spoil stuff and talk about this It is really difficult to not spoil it. Because, like... They only I, had I a half a about, second to resolve yeah, it, Luke. I want to talk about how the whole movie, I thought, was good and well and well executed, except the end. I agree. But then also... You can't really say why, though. Yeah. And then also, there are a lot of, not plot holes, but... Dumb mistakes that the that the main character almost made. inexcusable things that yeah are overlooked. normal human people would not have behaved in the way that they yeah. did. I mean, well, I guess it's a suspending, suspend disbelief sort of thing. But but if they took all these precautions that they did and then completely over, you know, ignored other ones that are absolutely obvious, or it's just kind of dumb. Yeah. <clears throat> it's hard to talk about. It is. This, it this, won't, this won't spoil it, but um. I suffered the exact same injury as one of the people in the movie did, and I didn't scream, so I feel like if they were practicing not screaming, then that they wouldn't either. He's you know what about I'm talking when about? When she steps. When she steps. Uh, yeah. I know what he's talking about, because I've stepped yeah. on things as well and not screamed. Did she Yeah, scream? it's not like yeah, it was a did. Lego or something. That's, that's I, what started, I, I, that's what started that whole I chain of it. Screamed. No, it was because What's she that? Went I've had a nail go in my toe and I didn't scream. Anyway. Well, that, that's yeah. okay. That's, that's what similar. we're talking about. Kinda. So. Oh, it was more Home Alone. Yeah, <laughs> there was um, just a lot of stuff that they were real stupid about. They yeah. should have paid closer attention to a lot of things. Yeah, but yeah. the movie was really also, well acted. 
I liked the Bad idea. Bad girl a lot. is responsible for a lot too. That's the other thing that bugs me is kids getting kids are an easy scapegoat in horror movies for why things go wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that they and they they kind of leaned on that a little bit. A little, like the whole <laughs> movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That but overall, difficult. it was it was really really good. <laughs> it was really hard. <laughs> I was on like the edge of my seat, like holding my breath with them. You know, like I've never heard a quieter theater. Never, never. Mm. There was not a sound of that motherfucker. And I like was cringing at certain parts, which I don't normally do. And like mm-hmm. a few things scared me. Is that what but they mean I- by the quiet? Yeah, yeah, it's it's dead quiet in the theater because everybody's like this. Um, but I was like hoping that it was a Cloverfield type movie mm-hmm. because the the monsters when you finally see what it is looks like a little miniature Cloverfield monster, and I was like, oh, maybe it's related, but I guess it's not. So Fun fact: they, like a thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, they they almost made it a Cloverfield movie. Wow, like you just early on in development. It feels a little bit like one yeah. when you watch it. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> oh, know no, there are things. monsters. <laughs> yeah. oh, God. Thanks. Yeah. Well, no, you know there's a monster. You, you just no, don't. you don't. Yeah, you do. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't. Quiet, otherwise, they'll get you. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole premise of the movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, they. I read something that said that early on in development, they were in talks with them to make it a Cloverfield movie. It would have worked like as part well, of the franchise. For sure. Yeah. And then Netflix is like, <laughs> No, we're going to make a bad movie. <laughs> I uh, heard that. I didn't watch it. I don't it. want to complain too much about this because I did like the movie, but it's... All right. I just want to lay out a scenario here. There's four monsters in the area. Right. Okay. okay. Or, yeah, maybe I'm misleading you, but there's a small amount of monsters in the area. Mm-hmm. Everything in the world makes noise. Right, right, right. So they're in the next town over. And you're in a cabin in the woods, and you say a word. Mm-hmm. There's no way. There's no, no. way that the. No. Well, they even use there was the a ambient lot of noise. Stuff that didn't make sense. Yeah, they even use ambient noise. You know, in certain parts of it to be able to like, yeah. oh, we can talk, and you know that would also carry over yeah. to distance but and be able to hear your heart pumping blood. I don't they, it, they don't explain a lot of it, Grim. This, yeah. That was the problem with it. It was really they, well they must done. Fucking hate crickets and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, uh, but it was still really also. Good. I can't say. Also, never mind. The first thing I thought of at the end of the movie was, man, they figured this out in another movie. <laughs> and way quicker and are you serious that's what it was <laughs> it was like my kind of ending you'll know what i'm talking about if you see it. it tremors no but um it was a ridiculous movie. you would think that a normal <laughs> that normal human beings would have figured out what was going on way before yeah. these people did. also they held your we'll hand just say that they held your hand super hard and showing you clues <sighs> all over the place <laughs> I still really liked it, yeah, despite absolutely. all yeah, yeah, of this too. terribleness. We are nitpicking. It, it, overall, it's not nitpicking. it was enjoyable. Out of eight, uh, what would you give it, Nick? You go first. Uh, six out of eight. One out of eight for the deaf girl. <laughs> Guys, you can't... <laughs> Harsh. I, okay, I liked her. I liked her, too. I just said I, I thought her. that she would have a lisp if she could talk. Oh, my God. I mean, is that wrong? Did she... Look Look at the little boy from Stranger Things. I know. Stop <laughs> it. Out of eight, I would say six and a half. Yeah. I'll say six overall, but the first half of the movie, I'll probably say like, it's like a seven and a half or eight. And had then it, the second half. Had it not been over a year since all this started, when <laughs> they finally figure anything out, yeah. it would have gotten a higher score. But it took them way too long. To figure out really obvious stuff. <laughs> I guess that's bureaucracy. Yeah. <laughs> Too much red tape. They submitted the paperwork for testing, but. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just saying. Um, it was good. Go see it. It could have been better. I don't know. Or yeah. rent it. Or rent it when it comes out. Or find it somehow. Um, get it Get it at Blockbuster when it comes out. <laughs> so I, that's right. I hadn't realized 
how many questions we get now because Nick has been filtering them substantially. <laughs> and then I was like, Nick just, is a strong firewall. I'm like, send me all of the ones that are not repeats <laughs> or like really bad. And there are so yeah, this this does not include bad. repeats. I know there's so many, so I'm just gonna pick a few, I guess, kind of yeah, at random, and then um, next time around we can do some more or something. So one of them, uh, we'll do Laz's first because you guys can talk about this. I don't know much about Kingdom Hearts the game, so it's a question about Kingdom Hearts. I'm out. Sure. What? You don't know either. I'm out. Okay, so I watched our friend. Fox play a little bit of Kingdom Hearts, right? Yeah, yeah. But that's all I know about the game is what I've seen okay. Fox play. So Laz says Kingdom Hearts 3 is supposed to come out this year, in quotes. Um, regardless of if it does or does not. Now, this question is a little odd. What Disney-owned property uh-huh. would you love to see in this installment of the franchise? It's not an odd question. Makes perfect sense. I got this. Like, does he mean like Moana? Yeah. Like, what characters you want to see? Yeah. Okay, what intellectual okay. property. Yeah, okay, I see. They, they, it's Disney. Mixed yeah, because in the other, in the stuff. one that I watched, there was like all the different characters. I get it now. Well, we got to think now how vast that net is. Because <laughs> right. when was the last Kingdom Hearts? Like forever ago. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts two was like. So there's been a million <laughs> movies since then. Like, how do you? What choose? have they been doing? I, I have no idea. It is crazy, crazy bastards. From, like <laughs> Big Hero Six and Monsters Inc. are in it already. Yeah. When was the big King Star Wars? Wars? I don't know. I think so. I was gonna say like that's it could be Star Wars now, Marvel stuff. Oh 2005. god, I totally forgot that they bought all of that. Yeah, 2005 was Kingdom Hearts two. Shit. Um, <laughs> you would see Moana, I think, because that was so huge. You would see. Well, what would you want to see? Is what the Frozen. Oh, I wouldn't care because I don't like Disney. If I were for including Star Wars, then Ray. I liked Ray. She's it. She's it. Jesus, it's the cops. No, just Ray is the only one I really like. <laughs> mm-hmm. From all the new characters. Okay. Maybe BB-8. Nick, do you, do you have a... <laughs> well, Marvel pref- characters. Say I don't really care. I'm not going to play the movie, but... Um, play the movie. I guess I'd like to see that, <laughs> that wise-cracking <laughs> robot from uh, Rogue One. Oh, yeah. He was pretty <laughs> funny. Hmm. That was, was like the best character in that Alan movie. Alan Tudyk. Exactly. He was yeah. a good character. I've never said his name out loud. In like 20 minutes of that. Alan Tudyk. Shut up. <laughs> nobody, even likes, nobody even likes you. Nobody. I've never said his name out loud. Oh, that's that's nice. mean. You're married to that guy. Isn't that how it's spelled? I mean. Oh, don't, don't treat him like he's in a quiet place or something. <laughs> <laughs> he gets put in a quiet place after the podcast. This <laughs> <thing> is funny. <laughs> Go to your room. <laughs> Go to your room. Why'd you say it like that? I don't know. So what characters would you want to see? Um, are, the, are the Incredibles? Is Pixar part of Disney? Right? Disney Pixar? Yeah, I think so. No? Is it? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. For the purpose of this, we'll say yes. Yes, Toy Story, <laughs> right? And all that? Yeah, Toy Story. Yeah, Toy Story is already in it. So yeah. So Okay, so yeah. And Incredibles. They were pretty cool. And Incredibles mm. 2 is coming out. Incredibles. Incredibles. Yeah, I like that um, movie. Gru? Does he count? Can I see Gru in the Minions? Yeah. Is he Disney? No, that's DreamWorks. I Damn think. it. Okay. Is Despicable Me DreamWorks? Mm-hmm. The one that I liked in 10 years yeah. is how, the one how about that's not theirs. Groot would be cute. I am um, Groot. Groot would be okay. Oh, I saw something that... Um, would Rocket count? Yeah. We got a Rocket? Yeah, because yeah, that's the same. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm telling you, my brain still is not working addled. properly. It's addled. You're um, addled. What else? Graham, you keep going. There you go. Well, She's just I don't think they do it. anything with them anymore, but Studio Ghibli. So, like, my neighbor Totoro. Wow, really? That's Disney? Oh, it, I guess. It was put out by Disney, but I don't think they do it anymore. Uh, I was going to say, I think Hell's Moving Castle like I, is. I had a yeah, I had to go double check and make sure like they kind of distributed it, sort of. Mm-hmm. I think there's a partnership. I, I'd play it if they started doing that. Yeah, <laughs> Is, um, just for that one. Oh, world. get Calcifer yeah. in there. Yeah. <laughs> See, I bet the Keyblades would look like garbage though. I have a question: Is <laughs> yeah. Big Hero Six Disney? Yeah, we already said that. 
Did anyone, did he say that? <laughs> you, you don't even talk to me. <laughs> I can't. Like, oh, the first one he said I'm was so confirmed. I'm so sorry. Jesus we, Christ. We have to relay what Grim says to Amanda and like they're not talking to each other. I think other, you so. did, right? <laughs> the headphones aren't working. Or I have crazy? anesthesia brain. I'm so sorry. Oh Gives me amnesia. You, you yes, did say I that, did right? say that. I did. I'm sure okay. that he did. I apologize. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Do we want to add any more? Is that good enough? I think we're all just supposed to answer one. <laughs> okay, that that's good enough then. One of our Sorry, old Liz. time, <laughs> one of our old time favorite questioners that's written in a bunch of times. Is uh, they're questionnaires. Hinata. I don't know. Hinata, nineteen eighty nine. Remember how I used to say? I it? remember that name. I used yeah. to say Hinata. It's totally in your There's no Inye yeah. on it. Okay. So <laughs> Hinata, nineteen eighty nine, says it's been a long time since you've heard from me. That's true. Yeah. Um. You all do reviews for movies a lot. What about TV shows? What would you recommend? We shouldn't. <laughs> I know, <laughs> clearly we shouldn't do. Quiet we place. shouldn't do movie reviews. Um, uh, TV shows. TV show recommendations. Oh, I love TV shows. So we were just talking about before we started that Luke and I have been, since I'm sitting on the couch for weeks and weeks and weeks all day every day, we were rewatching uh, White Collar. Oh, it's a great show. Which we love so much. And then I also um, have been rewatching Frasier. 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 Wow. And Luke, um, what? how does the song go? The Frasier song? I don't know. You were supposed to <laughs> sing it for me. <laughs> you promised. No. Nah. Now nah, I'm on the spot. Oh, okay. Can't do that. I'll just bust in. You've only done six some songs point. this episode, but I you know. can't do the record. Start request. recording him. <laughs> I know. I'm going to just interrupt her at some point and start singing it. Okay. That's fine. Okay. What else are you doing? Um... Hey, baby, I hear the blues are calling, <laughs> tell salads and scrambled eggs. What the fuck does it mean, though? <laughs> I don't know. What does he mean? Who eats tossed salads with scrambled eggs? I don't know. What is that? Wait, well, you he just, you know? Right after that, he says, well, baby, I'll be a bit confused. Yeah. I seem a bit confused. I'm sorry. Mumbled my words there. <laughs> Have you been drinking? Take two. Have you been drinking? No. Oh. Oh, early. What? Well, that doesn't count. <laughs> that doesn't count. Uh that what was just disc golf watching? drinking. That's not the same thing. I rewatched seasons one through five of Vampire Diaries before it starts to suck, and then I turn it off. <laughs> um, TV on, TV off. <laughs> We've been keeping up with Brooklyn Nine Nine and yeah. like our usual shows. Fresh off the boat. Fresh off the boat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fresh That's really it, there. though. Well, if you if you want some like all time recommendations, um, Parks and Rec. Of course. 30 Rock. The Office. You know, for, yeah, The Office. If you want comedies, those are, you know, the nice 30-minute comedies. Um, 30 Rock's probably my favorite of those. Mm -hmm. Um, I heard that down in the corner. What'd you say? (laughs) (laughs) He said Gilmore Gilmore Girls. Girls. Gilmore Girls. What? That's a good show. It was okay. You don't watch Um, it? I did. All of it. Um, But I don't like the way that they're, like, when they talk. It's super unnatural. Family Guy makes fun of it. Super hard. They have like no pauses, like naturally. They, people yeah, would they talk. don't. They don't pause. She watched it one time, and I'm sitting here watching. Like, this is giving me anxiety. It gave me anxiety. <laughs> it was <laughs> really crazy. It's I think like you're just, looking too into the show. You should no, just watch rewatch it. it and pay attention to how they don't pause like normal people. Well, the, I've the watched problem. it more times in the last year than I ever want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with it, though. Is like they're just. They're queued up already with their next line, and they're just waiting for it to finish. Yeah, they like, don't go. They don't have any natural <laughs> rhythm to how they talk. It's so the weird. They're like Suki. robots. They're like robots that are trying to be humans. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Um, Vampire Diaries is always good. Supernatural is always good. <laughs> Big Game um, Brothers sucks. Are there like thirteen seasons now? They got renewed again. Good. Lord. It needs to die. Fourteen's happening. They should just stick to making beer. Did you ever go to that, by the way? No. Not wow. Yet. It's not open you yet. You guys fucking lied to the podcast. Oh. Yeah, I think it's open. Well, when I heal up and we're back from GBO, we'll go. I got to make sure I'm back to normal and looking good before I go see Jensen. Adams. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Is he on the list? No. He's definitely on the list. There's he the list. is the list. <laughs> He's the majority He's of the list. The list. <laughs> um, what other shows are really good? Uh, I mean, how many are you going to recommend? That's enough, <laughs> I guess. Nick, what about you? Anything uh, that we didn't mention that you like? TV shows? Yes. Uh, Ghost Wars. 
Oh, I was supposed I like to that. watch that. Yeah, Why didn't suck. I watch yeah. that while I've been sitting around for three weeks? You suck at Because you have oh, you got a chance God. now. The the dumb brain right now. Yeah, you dumb got, brain. You got dumb brain. Jesus. Episode um, title: Amanda has dumb brain. Amanda, no, not even Amanda, <laughs> dumb brain. You ass butt. Ass butt. Right. Ass butt, dumb brain. That's right. That's a Castiel line. Um. The other one I watched recently is called Detectorists. What? I beg your that's, pardon. That's made up. That's not. No, it's well that word is made up. <laughs> that's not a word. That's the title all, of the show. All words are made up. <laughs> You're made up. What do you ask? It's a uh, mind a BBC <laughs> show about two guys who are in a metal wait, wait, detector wait. club. What channel is that on? BBC. 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 That's the lady version of BBC. BBC. <laughs> wait, wait, we have a question related yeah. to that. Hold on. Oh, my God. So, Quail what? Tales. <laughs> no, seriously. So, Quail Tales says, who makes better television, America or the Brits? Whoa. That's America. definitely the Brits. <laughs> mm. Okay, do you like your seasons to be uh, six episodes long and then wait a year for six more episodes? This, I'm used to that. Was exactly the, what this series is: six episodes per season. <laughs> that, yeah, three that's what they do, problem. Nick. That's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> Although the, there is one that doesn't. Uh, Peep Show doesn't. Peep Show. Oh, I so love. Oh, Peep I show. like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's such a funny. Did show. you see the one where he accidentally killed his girlfriend's dog? Oh my god, that yes. one is. So oh my god. <laughs> We've seen them all several times. Yeah, I've, I've seen I that bag. Uh, barbecue. <laughs> barbecue. He eats oh, the dog. God, you guys stop it. <laughs> Um, Jazz, oh man. Doctor Who, classically. Well, you know, yeah. awesome. Doctor Who. Downton Abbey. <laughs> no, I didn't like oh. Downtown Abbey. No. Mm -mm. Um, um, I'm going to say America. America. I'm going to say America does better yeah. than the Brits overall. Mm. I think it's hard because the quantity is definitely on the U.S. side, and so there's mm. a lot more darts thrown at the board, so to speak. Yeah. You know, and What's some the of them are bound to That's hit. That's true. And seems like a lot less, but there are a higher proportion of good quality ones. That come I out. will say, when I was very little growing up, I loved watching BBC late at night. I would watch Mr. Bean. And then what was and that I show? I can't even comment on this right now. because I know. What right? was that show where the, the theme song was like, <laughs> and like money and like. Um, that was a Pink Floyd song. Yeah, it was from the, it was the Pink Floyd song. Was no, the it theme wasn't. song? Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it was. And it was like a, a show that took place in like, uh, like a Dillard's type store, like a big Macy's type store. Okay. What's a Dillard's? Was it absolutely fabulous? It had something to do with money. Wasn't Dollars and cents or something. It was an app I don't know what the name of it was, but it was awesome. What if it was funny. just a music video too? No, it was a show. <laughs> <laughs> it was the dark side of the moon. <laughs> I'll have to try to find it. For money. I'll have to try to find it. Um, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that was the theme song. Oh, good accidental segue there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you but completely finish your thought. There. Yeah, sorry, I uh, Amanda just it. jumped in with another question in the middle of it. No, well, it had a, to do with I it. I mean, that's it. Yeah. That's the detectorist. It's about a couple of guys in a male detector club, and uh, it is kind of related to the office because one of the stars and the guy who wrote it is Gareth from the UK office. Oh wow! You mean the the pirate with one eye? Yes, and Pirates of yes. the Caribbean. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, mm, that's good. So that's my answer. Okay, Graham, TV shows. I don't watch television. Anime counts. I just no. I just watch weeb things, and they don't count. They count. <laughs> they totally count. Never use Hulu as your port to substance. <laughs> that's probably a good idea. Unless you're watching like Adventure Time. No, not even because holy shit, the fucking interface is garbage. Well, yeah, <laughs> it is. It's really crap. It's so laggy and slow. Uh, I don't know. I watch a lot of anime and never really remember it. You're a liar. It just goes through. Like I've been yeah, watching. He doesn't the absorb new, it. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, the new oh, Tokyo Ghoul, Community uh, either. Overlord Two. So I don't know. Overlord Two. Ones. Yeah, season two. The problem is, is you don't put the subs on and you have no idea what's going on when you watch yeah. them. <laughs> I'm speaking a different language and all I know, is, that's where I learn all my weave noises. 
Okay. <laughs> Damn. Ugu. Like, Ugu. 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 So in case Haven't you missed it, Luke also, Luke also mentioned Community. Which yeah. Was it, that's which a... was one of the all-time favorites. Oh, man. I was driving to play disc golf today. and I would Hayden's. hope so. Yeah. Yeah. And the the classic song from Community from, is it Michael Higgins? I don't know what you're talking about. Called Daybreak came on. No, it did not. On my Yeah, on my Spotify. It's on oh. my list. It's on my playlist. And I was like, bam. Oh, man. If you don't know that song, go look it up. It's really good. I sing it all the time when I'm doing chores and stuff. <laughs> Childish Gambino actually, like, follows him. Like, Troy <laughs> actually follows him. My favorite clip to do with that song is whenever he locks their bedroom that's made out of sheets. He puts yeah. a key in and locks it as if it really had a door. It's so funny. And he's, and he's humming he's like, it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, that's when really Annie funny. stepped on the dark we don't need to. DVD. We don't need to relive the whole show. And then they tried to talk about recording a commentary again. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. Do you want to do another question? I guess. So this is uh, apropos for me re- recently. Wow. <laughs> Muriel says, what's the weirdest dream you've ever had? Do you believe in dream interpretation? Oh, God. So. <laughs> I'm, s- I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so after my <laughs> surgery, like a lot of people came to visit. A lot of people came and gave me gifts and saw me and brought me food and all this stuff. But um, a friend of a friend um, came and did like Reiki. And she did a tarot card reading and like with crystals and like this whole thing. And she was talking to me about my dreams and she didn't know, like I didn't tell her any of this stuff. Oh, I thought this was the dream. (laughs) No, no, no. This is like real life. No, this really happened. happened. (laughs) So she was like, have you been dreaming a lot lately about like your high school days and your family and stuff? And I'm like, yes, like constantly every night. And so then I was like, she was like, oh, I figured that you had. And like, I was like, my mind was blown because she knew these details that I obviously hadn't told her. You sure they weren't just vague questions that <laughs> led you to believe that she Whatever you want to believe. But anyway, so I keep dreaming about like every single night when I have a dream, no matter what the dream's about, it takes place in the house I grew up in. Hmm. And I get real annoyed with it. Like in the middle of the dream, I'm like, oh, fuck, we're not here again, are we? So sick of this damn fucking house. Like, I know it's a dream, and I'm, like, so sick of dreaming about this house. <laughs> it's like the buzzards Ugh. from, what was that, Dumbo? It's like, so what you want to do? They're magpies, thank you very much, not buzzards. Anyway, just remind, Mr. Me, just remind me of that. <laughs> now, don't start that again. They were the so, beetles. The beetle. They were beetle buzzards. When I do have weird dreams, I do look up what the meanings are. She does, and she tells me about it All them. the time. Luke gets so annoyed at me every morning. I'm like, guess what I dreamed about last night? He's like, for fuck's sake, woman, I don't care. I'm still asleep. Uh, it's like, it doesn't matter. So she does, yes. She does. <laughs> I believe in it. Uh, I don't know about the weirdest dream I've ever had, though. I, oh, probably the one that everybody's already heard about, where I was like hooking up with you and your face turned into a chocolate cake. Oh my god, that one was <laughs> pretty weird. I, I remember this actually. <laughs> that one was pretty weird. <laughs> I uh, believe we titled that clip "Sex Clay Sex, sex Cake." cake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was. <laughs> Have you had uh, any weird dreams that you remember, Luke? No, you don't really remember your dreams. Not which often. Kind of weird. No, I, I just sleep. Okay. I mean, I do that have must dreams. Be nice. Right? I think I it remember must be them. great to just sleep. <laughs> I do. She hates it. Grim, she, do you she's remember? She's so mad that I'm I fall asleep. I'm very mad all the time. Like, at me just falling asleep, she gets mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't know because you're asleep. Grim, do you remember your dreams? Sometimes. Are they ever super weird? And do you think that what you dream about is, like, a legit thing that you can analyze? Um, Not so much now because I'm like, wow, it's a dream. But, like, when I was kid i remember this one time my arm was like asleep because how i was sleeping and something in my dream was touching me and then i woke up to me like strangling my arm like who's touching me and it was just my own (laughs) hand just like doing this like touching my face and i'm just like what and then like eventually like you get out of that like just waking up stupor and you're like (sighs) wow and then my arm was like that tingling feeling just from shoulder to fingertip. And I was like, Jesus. this hurts. So I'm like hitting my wall with it just to wake the freaking thing up to go back to sleep. But and then he had a yeah. brilliant idea and was like, 
Eh, eh, the hands <laughs> asleep. Oh, come on, Luke. <laughs> Get the yeah. old stranger going. Uh, the, the friendly no, stranger. See, I, I cut it off and then it, it turned into the movie Idle Hands. Oh, that was a great movie. <laughs> Jessica Alba was in that movie. There is no great movie with Jessica Alba. No, this in was it. a horror, shitty horror movie. Have you seen? You have <laughs> seen Idle ever Hands? Seen this no. movie? Oh my no. god! Need, okay, you need to watch this. This is the one with Devin Sawa. Yes, who, Devin Sawa, who used to be a person that yeah. existed. <laughs> this was like late nineties, and his hand gets possessed. One word that makes me know mm-hmm. her career is not legit. Honey, Do y'all remember that movie, Honey? No. Yeah, but but anyway, you need to that's watch what she's movie. most known. You for. do need that's to watch on your it. List. That's on your list. Okay. It's a classic. shitty horror movie. Okay. Wasn't, wasn't, um, oh shit, what's his name? The, didn't want, wasn't one of the friends the one that played the lawyer in Daredevil? Was, was one of his oh, friends. Oh, maybe. Oh, that plays Foggy? Yeah, that plays Foggy. I don't know. And Possibly. That played Nelson I'm back in years. Mighty Ducks. Yeah. Fucking maybe. Mighty Ducks. But anyway, good movie. Classic. I remember watching that in high school. <laughs> Okay. It's probably not good at all. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go back and watch it now, Luke. I know. <laughs> Nicholas, do you remember yes. your dreams afterwards and do you believe they have any no. meaning to them? Most of the time, no, except the ones that wake me up at the end of it. Uh-huh. Um, like you'll just wake up scared well, like or like you're that... falling and it jolts you awake or what? Uh, no, well, what, most of them are like... The sleep paralysis where I wake up, those ones. Oh, oh right. those are not good. You guys never to. did that show. No, we did sure you? did good. not. No, no that we was didn't. Like when we started this that over was years a year ago. ago. Yeah. Um, and then the one where when I first got my eyebrow piercing, I thought I was caught in a fishing net. Oh, God. I remember you talked about that. It, so, yeah. Jesus Christ. So those are the only ones that I remember. <laughs> no, and I do remember dreams. If I'm like, like Nick said, if I'm woken up, unexpectedly you know like if i'm going the natural course or if i wake up and then i just don't get up and fall back asleep lightly yeah and dream then i'll remember them sometimes the ones i remember a lot are i'm driving a lot and brakes and gas doesn't don't work, work. Right. yeah that that happens quite often to yeah people. or like you're turning the wheel and it's just like not working and <laughs> oh god oh bless <laughs> snuck you. up on me jesus god bless you so the thing that happens to me in dreams you. all the time is like I I can't use my phone. Like I'll be like, oh, I know the phone number is this, but and I'm hitting the four, but it's typing in an eight. Like the numbers are uh, never the right ones. That's frustrating. It's very frustrating. frustrating. But then that also is how I realize. That's how I often realize I'm in a dream. Mm-hmm. As I'm like, oh, my phone doesn't work, so I know I'm dreaming. This totally remember. This totally remembered me. Reminded me of something I remembered. <laughs> okay. There was a Batman the cartoon episode a long time ago. Where he realized he was in a dream because the words on a page of a book didn't make sense. Mm -hmm. And he's like, (laughs) and he said something about the reasoning was that your brain can't comprehend letters or numbers or something because it's the different side of the brain. But I'm like, I see stuff all the time in dreams that I can read and interact with. So I think Batman's full of shit. No, he's right. Like in, (laughs) even in whenever I'm in a lucid dream and I know that I'm in a dream Mm -hmm. and I try to read something. I can mostly read it, but the letters are wrong, but I know what it's supposed to say. Maybe. And my brain can read it, but the letters are wrong. Hmm. I don't They're know. They're not right. Like I've, I've, I've made I've sure used, to check and notice it. I've used letters and numbers and stuff. And, but I always remembered that episode for some reason. It's weird how little stuff like that stands out <laughs> to you. Yeah. Because I thought it was true for the longest time. And I, maybe it is. And I'm just special or something. I maybe. I, I really don't feel special. like Batman would lie to us. I don't think Batman yeah. lies. That doesn't seem in his character. He has a, a lot of money. Asshole. Yeah, see? Grim knows what's up. <laughs> I always know I'm dreaming you know he's a good it's person. In, it's in that same fucking house I grew up in. Every time I wake up and I'm in that same fucking bed, I'm like, God damn it again. I, I do have dreams <laughs> where I'm like in amusement parks or something. <gasps> and it's always people from like high school and college. and People stuff. you never literally I think have ever thought about. I think maybe you're just filling in Ooh, wrong crowd as a people. child, Luke. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if my brain's just filling in the crowd with like somebody I saw on Facebook recently or something. Your brain does do that. You know? mm. It does. Stupid brain. Your brain. Um, <laughs> dumb this brain. is a this is a really fun question from Amanda's dumb brain. Amanda dumb brain. <laughs> Not even that I have one, just dumb brain. Yeah. This question is from Richard, aka 
Kamisus, oh, aka Spuds McKenzie. <laughs> this one was really funny, is why I want to I want to use it. So, aka Raffleopolis, aka he's got a million names <laughs> online. So he wants to know under each category, <laughs> under each category of these three categories, what type would you be and why? A fruit, a meat, and a vegetable. What? Pick one and why. Would we be? Yeah. Or <laughs> under each category of fruit, meat, and vegetable, what type would you be? And why? Where did he come up with this question? I don't know, but he said, example, banana, lamb, and asparagus. <laughs> banana, lamb. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> a fruit. So what kind of fruit would I each would of us be? I would be a strawberry. Okay. Because I have strawberry Red. blonde hair. Yeah. Okay. And I'm sweet. And I'm a redhead. Okay. Makes meat, sense. I would be... Oh, you're doing all yours? I'm just going to do mine first. Meat, I would be... Steak. It's so good. Wow. And but what kind of steak? Prime yeah. rib. <laughs> it's prime rib, baby. <laughs> and then for vegetable, I would be broccoli. <laughs> don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because it's my favorite one. All right. I don't Did know you say how broccoli? Like, how are we supposed to? I don't know. Just pick something. It's just a question to answer. Sounds like a Bud, BuzzFeed quiz or something. Yeah. Pick that. What <laughs> that <does>. <laughs> What fucking what vegetable are you? <laughs> God damn it! I bet it's take real. This quiz and find I bet out. it's. I bet we could all find that and take the quiz and see. <laughs> um, I'm any kind of pork. I would say. You're a pork chop. Disgusting! What's wrong with you? All pork is good. You shut your mouth. Bacon. Bacon and pork. Your bacon. And ham. Bacon. Bacon's not pork. And prosciutto. It's, thing. Thing. it's just bacon. And what kind of from the bacon food? animal? Yeah, I'm, yeah, a bacon animal. Um, fruit. Why do I feel like you're going to say pineapple? <laughs> I don't know I just why. I just thought you were going to say pineapple. The other day. What? What? I cut one of those for the first oh, time. I oh, I thought you said eight, and I was like, what? I know. Fresh pineapple is so much better, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's oh, really good. It's amazing. It's hard to cut, though. What, what fruit would you be? Man, there's so many. Just pick one. A peach. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Southern peach. peach. What vegetable would you be? I could eat be? a peach for hours. It's a butt. <laughs> Jesus. What vegetable would you be, please? Um, a daikon <laughs> radish. Why? Look God. it up and you'll know. <laughs> Why? What? Why? Does it look like a penis? Does it look like a penis? Lucas, stop. It's huge and round and, and cyndrillical. So, and so it looks like a large or... penis. Yeah. Think you, you guys have seen Spirited Away. Think of the Radish Spirit in it. Hey, she hasn't seen it. I haven't seen it. Oh. oh. But yeah, it's a wow. daikon Never radish. Heard. Okay. D-A-I-K-O-N. Uh, we, we got it. Oh, uh, look at that thing. Luke, stop, please. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Grim, if Nick you were a fruit, just shaking our head. what fruit would you be, Grim? <laughs> Myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God. He'd be an orange Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a real it's a Bud thing, Lime right? orange. Right. Bud Lime orange. <laughs> no. I'd probably be a mango. Mango. Oh, I almost said it. Okay. Uh, what well, meat? Good thing you did. Yeah. Sushi. That's not a meat. Fish. <laughs> Fish is a meat. It's totally thinking like a clam. Okay. Clam. And then vegetable? A bearded clam. Plus <laughs> the sprout. Because you're so bitter. <laughs> Two Brussels sprouts. Bitter. Two Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Stop. Why are you making everything sexual? Stop it. <laughs> Crime no. and uh, Nicholas. It's that time of what, the month. <laughs> what fruit would you be, Nick? Um, Pomegranate. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's yeah, a super fruit. Tasty but tedious? Is that why? <laughs> it's not tedious. You're cutting that's it That's as good as answer as anything I come up with. I don't <laughs> yeah. Know. You don't know how to peel one of those. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> what kind of meat? That's a good meat? answer. Um, <laughs> wow. Fennec is, is I don't really know. Ignore that. It's like... Um, Pork. Yeah. Pork. Okay. Because that's why what humans if, taste like, apparently. So. Pork. <laughs> what about a vegetable? Uh, 
a uh, ghost pepper. A ghost pepper? Is that a vegetable? A fruit. Peppers are fruits? Is that true? Yep. Okay. I was wondering about that. Okay, switch my first answer to that. Okay. And my last answer will be... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Does it, You're doesn't a carrot. It's like be a, a carrot. rutabaga. <laughs> All right, I'll be a carrot. I, I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> and then the other silly question that I wanted to ask, only because it's focused on Grim answering. So be prepared, Grim. It's from your best friend, Bader. Be prepared. Okay, Bader wants to know, Grim, you're the sorting hat from Harry Potter, okay? Oh, God. <laughs> So which house do you put each of your co-hosts, the three of us, in? All right. So, Nick, you're you're totally a Gryffindor. What? Why? <laughs> because. He didn't want to be. Yeah. Obviously. You, you, you try so hard to be Slytherin, but you're just a Gryffindor. You bastard Aww. hat. I'm going to kick you across the room. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that would be in Slytherin is our freaking sorting hat. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Um, this has hmm. defective. I think I think Luke's totally a Ravenclaw because we no, don't really hear much about them. He's yeah. a Hufflepuff. No way, Ravenclaw the way. No, you're a Hufflepuff. There's, what? There's... Oh, please no! <laughs> They're the worst. <laughs> no, Ravenclaw's the worst because you don't hear about them. Uh, that's so I didn't. True. I didn't understand the second part of the question. Bader then said. Which ghost would Grim fall in love with first? The co-hosts have to say, but you guys what, would have had to know the talking ghosts, about? The what ghosts, ghosts from the movie and Harry Potter. What ghosts? The, the ghosts, ghosts in the, the, the castle. Like, like nearly Headless Nick and the Bloody Baron. and It would be the Bloody Baron. Moaning Myrtle. I don't remember, <laughs> I don't remember any I don't of that. I don't know. Moaning Myrtle might be pretty freaky. <laughs> I don't remember any of that. Wow. There you go. Not nerd. So who did you say? He said Bloody Baron? Yeah. Nick, who did you say? It's pretty cool. Moaning Myrtle. Moaning oh, Myrtle. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least it's a girl. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think that's enough for today, you guys. I don't think I can handle, I I can handle any that's more. That's how we end it. Apparently. I can't handle any more. Um, this week on Twitter, make sure you're following me. We're giving away a bunch of Steam Keys in prep for... The celebration of Crucible Falls Woo. is coming out next weekend. Whoop whoop. Oh, Nicholas. Yeah, Nicholas. It's next yeah. Week. Yeah. Nicholas I'm from here. Mo. What's your website? Cruciblefalls.com. It That's is a easy. co-op horror escape game. You need a teammate. Mm -hmm. There's four possible endings, and three of them have scoreboards. So see if you can get to the top. Okay. So did you end up getting it to where you have to buy two, or they made it to where it was optional? Uh, they no longer do uh, multi packs. Um, uh, really? Okay. Yep. They have some that are grandfathered in, but they're not allowing anymore. Um, so I mm. lowered Just the individual sure, price and make sure you have a friend though that buys it with you because it's yeah. I, I I put it like three or four times on the um, on the coming soon page, which is up right yeah. now. Yeah, we'll um, link to your page and stuff this week yeah. for sure. Val Valve said there's like people if, if someone's gonna get mad about it, they're gonna get mad anyway, so they yeah. don't yeah. care. You can't yeah, it doesn't matter. Well that's nice that they actually commented on it. Yeah, they did. I, I specifically asked them about that and they got back to me really quick. Well, Once you good. become a developer, they actually will interact with you. Huh. That's good but before know. that you'll never get an answer from Valve. <laughs> yeah. I could imagine. Um, so this yeah, week we'll be giving away a lot of games on Steam, um, just to kind of get everybody ramped up for the release of the game. Nick finally made a game. Whoop, whoop. We're whoop. so excited. Um, <laughs> well, it took and 300 years. Right. I know, it's true. I actually put that on Twitter after a million years. After mm. a million years in the making. And then Nick and I, um, Nick and I, Luke and I will be going to <laughs> Whoa, the Glass man. Blown Open. It's dumb brain. I'm telling you, my dumb brain isn't working. <laughs> We're going to be going to Glass Blown Open in Kansas next week. Um, and we'll probably do a special disc golf only podcast after that. Whoa. We may have one in between, uh, possibly, if we can find time to do one before we leave. And then I think Nick is going to be gone for a couple weeks on vacation, too. So we'll try to get yeah. some content out before he leaves. He doesn't. No, you don't take vacation as a dev. 
Uh, I do now. I'm actually <laughs> leaving my on the day game? when it comes out. That's awful. <laughs> actually, yeah. I'm already working on the second game. I'm going to break your game, and you're going to be gone, and you're going to be like, oh, shit. No, I've prepared for this. He's not prepared. Prepared. Not yeah. enough. I got a thumb drive with the whole source on my in my pocket. Keep it all the time. At all times. <laughs> yeah. Okay. With a computer. I think we'll wrap. Uh, it yes, there. I have a pocket computer. <laughs> Not to knows. be confused with other things. Anyway, <laughs> wrap it. There. What are you talking about? She's talking Don't. about wrapping it up. We're, we're, wrap, gonna, we're trying to wrap it up. We're going to wrap this up before yeah. your dumb brain says other dumb things. Dumb brain is not working right. So, um, that's it. Everybody say goodbye. Hey, Grim's been streaming. Go watch him. Oh, he has been streaming a lot. <laughs> yeah, that too. I'm trying to. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We can link to his page too, just in case. I mean, yeah. it's already linked in. Oh, it is linked in already. Bio, I think. Dumb brain. Go to my page. Well, we'll put it in the homepage one. There you go. Also. Okay. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. That's not saying bye. Say bye. Goodbye. Stop it. Say bye. 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 <laughs> bye. <laughs>